This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Ogres. Or ogre. Ogre mercenaries are feared in many lands. They are ruthless, cunning, and love to dive into battle. They are often found working with orcs and other barbaric races, defending, deferring any decision making to their smaller allies. Ogres respect strength more than anything. And they might demand that an employer prove himself in combat with them before accepting contract a contract. Ogre Mage Ogre mages are cunning creatures that occasionally offer their martial power prowess to anyone who will pay. Working as mercenaries under an employee, they are just as likely to be sizing him up to stab in the back. However, if the employer is powerful and ruthless enough, ogre mages make powerful and obedient mercenaries. They know that their abilities and strength are worth a, d a great deal, <clears throat> and they ask for just as much in payment. They prefer magic items and slaves over gold. Orc. Orcs make superb shock troops, diving into any fray with ruthless abandon. If the pay is right, they will happily fight whomever they are told to. However, there is a good chance that they will turn on their employer unless they are convinced that there is no way they could win. Orcs respect power and can be loyal troops as long as their employer continually shows them who is boss. They prefer to be paid in treasure and will always demand a hefty portion of the loot acquired in battle. Typhling. Devious, violent, and greedy Typhlings are drawn to becoming mercenaries. They shun large battles, preferring to act as bodyguards or assassins for a rich employer. In rare instances where a band of Typhling mercenaries is available for hire, they form elite strike teams that excel at attacking individual targets, such as commanders and wizards. Like many of the other evil beings mentioned here, Typhlings can turn on their employer in moments. Troglodyte Only the truly desperate or depraved will hire troglodyte mercenaries. These foul creatures delight in battle, specializing in ambushes and hit-and-run attacks. They do not fight for money, but accept payment in slaves and food, usually demanding a few live senti sentient creatures up front. <laughs> Aquatic Exotic Troops Merfolk The normally peace-loving merfolk make fierce mercenaries in times of distress. Sometimes individuals who... Individuals or whole clans are forced to take up arms, especially in waters that see a lot of naval combat. They normally disdain coins and jewels, which they can find in abundance within sunken ships and lost treasures, but ask for payments and goods that are not readily found beneath the waves. Forged metal items for of all kinds, weapons and exotic foods such as beef, Merfolk excel at hit-and-run tactics, both above and below the water. They can sabotage ships with ease and pick off individual sailors with their crossbows. Sahajan Sahajan have a rigid society that determines the place of each individual. When one is found unfit to dwell in that society, it is, a, it is cast out. Some of these cast outcasts will do the unthinkable and fight for non sajin Employers who can overlook their disgusting habits find in Sahajan 
powerful troops that will perform extremely dirty tasks like mer extremely dirty tasks like merfolk they make perfect underwater sappers using their powerful claws and tridents to puncture the hulls of ships in addition to treasure as payments Sahajan mercenaries expect to take back slaves usually for food triton Suspicious and slightly xenophobic, Tritons are rarely mercenaries. Those willing to sell their services have either been shunned by their community or are bent on vengeance against some group of surface dwellers who have done them wrong. Triton mercenaries are always considered mounted, riding along on the backs of war-trained porpoises or hippocampi both described later in this chapter. They always accept any assignment that allows them to attack their hated racial enemies, the Sahajan. Exotic Mounts for Mercenaries Some mercenaries come with exotic mounts and change or charge their employer more for the care and feeding of these creatures. Table 4, 6, exotic mount cost shows the average additional price for some unusual mounts. Typically, herbivorous mounts cost less than carnivorous ones, and mounts that are particularly dangerous in combat cost even more. If a mercenary has one of these special mounts, remember to increase the mercenary's daily wage, because he is considered to be mounted. For more information on different types of mounts, see Companions, Pets, and Mounts below. Animal Empathy and Handle Animal The Animal Empathy skill specially works with animals and with beasts and magical beasts if you accept a negative 4 penalty. Material in this book does not change that. Handle Animals has no such limitation, but the sample DCs presented in Chapter 4 of the Player Handbook, Player's Handbook are only for animals and beasts. This book pres presents a new feat, creature type, Trainer, later in this chapter, which allows you to train other non-intelligent creatures with Handle Animal as if they were beasts. Companion, Pets, and Mounts The world contains a multitude of creatures, not all of them hostile. Many can be domesticated or at least trained to serve as pets, guards, or mounts outside of the normal animal companion standards. Some of these creatures are not even animals. Nearly creatures, nearly creature can be trained, convinced to or manipulated to serve. The trick is knowing how. The creature entries that follow are by no means comprehensive. They are intended as an overview of what can be capably trained and how. They can also serve as benchmarks against which DMs and players can develop their own creations. Intelligent Creatures Canny characters may use the leadership feat to attack a cohort that can serve as a mount or guard. Intelligent creatures generally do not accept the role of pet. See leadership in Chapter 2 of the Dungeon Master Guide. You cannot use this feat to attract a creature with intelligence lower than 4. If you already have a special mount familiar or animal companion, this imposes a negative 2 penalty on your leadership score. Table 227. Example Special Cohorts in Chapter 2 of the Dungeon Master's Guide includes some characters that can also serve as mounts or guards. Use these as a guideline if you want to add more examples. Option, Training Intelligent Creatures. 
Lawful creatures, regardless of intelligence, understand the necessity of training. Even highly intelligent lawful creatures that wish to serve as guards or mounts understand that they must learn the necessary skills. Assuming the creature consents to training, reduce the handle animal check DC by 1 for every 2 points of intelligence over 2 to simulate its cooperation. Chaotic creatures tend to be less accepting of discipline and re repetition. Even when they agree to it, they reluctantly submit to the structures of training. However, they are easily moved by emotional appeals. In this case, a resourceful trainer can substitute diplomacy for handle animal and lower the check DC by 5 to gain a chaotic creature's cooperation. Table 4-6 Exotic Mount Cost Additional Cost Exotic Mount Blink Dog Riding Per Day Plus 15 Gold Pieces Typical Riders Halflings Gnomes Exotic amount Dionicus Dionicus and Mega Raptor. Additional cost per day plus forty gold pieces. Typical riders trog troglodytes, goblins, hobgoblins. Exotic mount Dire Badger. Additional cost per day. Plus 20 gold pieces, typical riders, gnomes, dwarves. Exotic mount, dire bat, additional cost per day, plus 20 gold pieces, typical riders, grow, and goblins. Exotic mount, dire boar, additional cost per day, plus 15 gold pieces, typical rider, dwarves, orcs, goblins, hobgoblins. Exotic Mount, Dire Shark, additional cost per day, plus 10 gold pieces, typical riders, Sahajan, and Tritons. Exotic Mount, Dire Wolf, additional cost per day, plus 10 gold pieces, typical riders, elves, orcs, goblins. Exotic Mount, Elephant. Additional cost per day, plus 10 gold pieces, typical riders, hill giants, ogres, humans. Exotic mount, giant eagle. Additional cost per day, plus 10 gold pieces, typical riders, elves, humans, Asimar. Exotic mount, giant owl. Additional cost per day, plus 5 gold pieces, typical riders, elves, and gnomes. Exotic mount, hippocampus, additional cost per day, plus 10 gold pieces, typical riders, tritons, merfolk, aquatic elves. Exotic mount, hippogriff, additional cost per day, plus 20 gold pieces, Typical riders, humans, elves. Exotic amount, lizard, riding. Additional cost per day, plus five gold pieces. Typical riders, dwarves, troglodytes. Exotic amount, pegasus. Additional cost per day, plus twenty gold pieces. Typical riders, elves, humans, asimar. Exotic Mount Rhinoceros 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 Additional cost per, per day Rhinosaurus Additional cost per day plus 10 gold pieces Typical Riders, Elves no, Dwarves and Ogres <clears throat> Exotic Mount Rhinoceros is what that was. Triceratops. Additional cost per day is plus 50 gold pieces. Typical riders, dwarves, and orcs. 
exotic mount winter wolf additional cost per day is 15 gold pieces typical riders orcs goblins hobgoblins exotic mount Borg. Additional cost per day, plus 15 gold pieces. Typical riders, orcs, goblins, hobgoblins. Exotic mount, wavern. Additional cost per day, plus 50 gold pieces. Typical riders, orcs, goblins, troglodytes. Training. To make it creature do what you want you must be able to give it instructions for some creatures this involves weeks of training for others it is a simple matter of telling them what you want to do, want done creatures take to their training more easily and thoroughly if they start young a creature reared from infancy becomes domesticated see domestication below for purposes of further training this is reflected in lower handle animal check DCs for training. A domesticated creature is docile around strangers and does not attack unless provoked. Creatures with intelligence of two or lower, such as animals and beasts, are trainable using the rules for handle animal in Chapter 4 of the player hand, Player's Handbook. Those with intelligence of three or higher, such as most magical beasts, can understand language, language and often require different techniques depending on the creature. Creatures having human intelligence, particularly those with the gift of language, require the use of diplomacy. Generally, handle animal, animal is used unless otherwise stated. <laughs> Reputable, reputable trainers know the difference between a creature with animal intelligence, intelligence 1 or 2, and one that is brighter. Before they begin training a sentient creature, they find a way to communicate with it and ask its permission. Someone attempting to train such a creature against its will could be arrested for slavery. Smart creatures le learn faster. For every two points of intelligence above two that a creature has, training is a ta task. As points of intelligence above two that creature that a creature has, training in a task takes two fewer weeks to accomplish, to a minimum time of one day. <clears throat> Therefore, to train a dra dragon. Intelligence 6 to guard an abbey takes one month instead of the standard 2. Teaching a Pegasus Intelligence 10 to serve as a mount requires just one day. Spells can also be a great boon to a trainer, particularly Charm Monster. It takes half the normal time to train a creature under the influence of a mind-affecting spell that causes it to befriend or obey the trainer, and the DC of the necessary skill check is reduced by 10. Creatures with intelligence 3 or higher often resent this sort of magical coercion. coercion. Higher no, coercion. While they can be taught quickly with the aid of mind-affecting spells. They might not wish to perform tricks they learn under a spell's influence after the spell ends. In some circumstances, the DM may rule that a creature of intelligence five or higher who can communicate with its rider by speaking or telepathy should be considered a follower. This is likely if the PC often consults with the creature and uses it, its abilities outside of conditions it was strictly trained for. In, in this case, the PC must adhere to the cohort's rules in Chapter 5 of the Dungeon Master Guide, including giving the creature a half share of experience. Domestication. 
Domesticated creatures are docile in civilized areas and calm among strangers. Anyone with the handle animal skill can direct them to perform tasks they have been taught. Not every creature that can be trained can be domesticated. An, an owl bear, for instance, is devoted to its master if raised from a chick, but can never be tamed. Animal companions are not considered domesticated. Further creatures of evil alignment rarely accept domestication. Creatures that take no domestic no, take to creatures that take to domestication well usually include animals, animals, beasts, and magical beasts of canine, feline, and equine form. Assume that a creature can be domesticated unless its alignment is always evil or it its description states otherwise. Training other types of creatures. Most campaign ecologies contain more than just ant animals and beasts. It is safe. It is. It's a safe assumption that the world of such astonishing variety and in, in, ingenuity of the common races would lead to a way to train other types of creatures. Training plant creatures requires spell. There are special techniques and facilities. But any plant with an intelligence, intelligence score can learn tricks within its capabilities. Non-intelligent plants, such as the assassin vine, are untrainable. Constructs and undead have no intelligence scores and so are untrainable. However, a designed master a designated, however, a designated master can command these types of creatures. They do not listen to any voice but their masters, and they cannot follow very they cannot follow very specific instructions. When the master is not around, a construct or undead creature follows only simple orders that the master left for it. Such a creature is easily confused and shows no initiative. These creatures defend themselves if attacked, however. Other types of creatures must be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Some such as, ooze, as oozes are untrainable and only barely controllable. Others such as chaotic evil outsiders are trainable but not controllable. A few savage creatures, such as Uets, are just not worth the effort. While they are theoretically trainable, it's usually safer and simpler to find a more easily domesticated creature to perform the same task. Pets. People keep pets for love and companionship. Nearly anything can be a pet to somebody, but for care and companionship, some creatures make better pets than others do. Best pets generally have no more than one HD, have intelligence no higher than two, and are no larger than small size. Creatures with more than one HD, especially carnivores, continually struggle with their owners for dominance. Those with intelligent three or higher resent being kept, and usually large creatures are unwelcome in most civilized areas. Notable exceptions include the following. Before I do that, I'll read this. New feet, creature type, trainer. You are skilled at training a particular type of creature. Prerequisite, handle animal eight ranks. Benefit. When you take this feat, choose a type of creature other than animal or beast. You may rear and train creatures of that type, using the handle animal skills as if they were beasts, providing their intelligence score is four or lower. Special. You can gain this feat multiply times, multiple times. It affects... It, its effects do not stack 
Each time you take the feat, it applies to a new creature type. Exceptions. This feat does not increase the DCs for training creatures presented in the Monster Manual, such as the Pegasus. However, it lowers them with appropriate when appropriate. Normal. Handle animal does not apply to training creatures other than animals or beasts. Pets and animal companions. A pet is less useful and less reliable than druid or ranger's animal companions. A pet must be trained with the handle animal skill to accomplish even the simplest tasks. A pet also does not feel the deep loyalty towards its owner that an animal companion does. When threatened, a pet must make a will save, DC 15. If it fails, the pet ignores any training and flees. Notable exceptions include the following on pets. Animal, you know, animated object. A wizard might animate objects around her house and then grow fond of them. If left animated long enough, they usually develop quirks and resemble personality. Dog. These animals make excellent pets regardless of their HD or size. Elemental. The monster manual doesn't mention elementals below small size, but it's safe to assume that tiny or diminutive elements with animal intelligence could exist. A fire element might seem a dangerous pet, but if it lived in the hearth, it might well enjoy a simple existence there. Homunculus Usually intelligent for a construct, a homunculus shares its creature's mindset. It literally lives to serve, making it an excellent pet if that is all its creature or creator asks of it. Pseudo dragon. These dragons live to be pampered and their sole ambition seems to be comfort. Pseudo dragons are perfectly happy to be thought of as pets as long as they eat well and are treated with the respect they feel they deserve. Guard Creatures Guard Creatures must be fierce, alert, and dependable. Intelligence takes a back seat to these considerations and is sometimes even a liability for a good guardian. Guard is a blanket term that describes any creature trained to protect or attack. Guard creatures serve in different capacities. Most often, they are left in an enclosed area to defend a place. Smarter ones don't need to be enclosed. Other creatures serve well as bodyguards, traveling with their master. Still others are held for special occasions such as hunts and gladiatorial combat. Each of the following entries gives information about a particular creature serving as a guard. They, the entry includes situations in which the creature is commonly used, quirks that a trainer will be aware of, or spe special tricks that the creature can learn. It ends with, with handle animal check DCs for training both young and adult creatures. The market price for one egg or young of the creature in the trainer's charge to rear or train the creature. New item, collar of material entrapment. The silvery collar has an emerald sheen in the light. A creature wearing the collar is completely barred from extra dimensional travel as the dimensional anchor spell for as long as it wears the collar. The collar expands or contracts to fit any size creature. The DC to break or slip out of the collar is 40. Caster level 7th, prerequisites, craft, wondrous item, dimensional anchor, market price, 
30,000 gold pieces, weight 1 pound. Blink Dog. Blink Dog packs try to prevent it, but opportunities sometimes steal their pups and train them as guard creatures. Some are treated horribly by abusive masters. Being both intelligent and lawful good, Blink Dogs trained in such an environment are reluctant reluctant guards but like slaves raised in captivity they are too beaten and ignorant of free freedom to disobey orders on rare occasion a pack of blank a blank dogs serve as guardians and friends for a tribe of wild elves or a lawful good person who has done a great service to the pack in these instances, the blink dogs require no training and act on their own volition. At no time, however, are they considered domesticated or tamed. DC Young slash Adult 22 slash 29. Young Price 10,000 gold pieces. Training cost 1,000 gold pieces. Ethereal Marauder. Only a very few ethereal, ethereal marauders have been caught, fewer trained, and none domesticated. They are exceptional guards, but perhaps not worth the effort. Train, tra trainers who wish to try it anyway must first arrange a method of trapping an ethereal marauder on the material plane, usually by means of magical items such as a collar of material entrapment. See the sidebar. Then they must locate one of these creatures. This in itself has been the subject of year-long quests. Kings and rich merchants have arranged ethereal expeditions in fruitless attempts to capture one of these predators. The problems do not end once the creature has been captured. Little is known about their eco ecology and many ethereal marauders mysteriously die in captivity. Further, not only is the concept of training foreign to them, they do not, they don't even understand language as it is known on the material plane. The trainer or some interested party must either use some form of telepathy to make a successful innuendo check DC-25 to communicate. That means of all the bewildering behaviors of the creature. Happily, once this is done, an ethereal marauder turns out to be surprisingly intelligent and, if convinced to submit, serves its master faithfully. It quickly learns nearly any trick and performs them all well. A guards, as guards, ethereal marauders usually remain on the ethereal plane watching their charge intently and attacking interlopers ruthlessly. DC Young slash Adult 20 slash 27 Young Price 5,000 gold pieces Training cost 5,000 gold pieces Gargoyle Gargoyles are excellent guardians but only for as long as they choose to be. They are best left in place that the they are best left in places that the owner does not expect to visit very often. Since they can be anti antagonistic towards even the person who placed them, gargoyles serve only powerful or persuasive masters, and even when they must be convinced that plenty of foolish prey will attempt to get past them while they wait in place. Gis or quest spells also work well. Gargoyles do not submit to training. DC Young Adult slash 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 Young Price slash Training Cost slash No Information Hellhound Hellhounds are aggressive hunters that get restless of enclosed at Get, that get restless if enclosed and left alone to protect some place or object. Evil masters can use them as guardians, but they must be they must let the hounds roam and hunt as they please. 
One or two hellhounds can serve as personal guards, or packs can be kept in infernal kennels for an occasional round of the most dangerous game. Although hellhounds and howlers have similar needs and can do many of the same things, they cannot be kept near one another. The two fight viciously. DC Pup slash Adult 22 slash 29 Young price 15,000 gold pieces Training cost 33,000 gold pieces Crenshaw Though Crenshaws adapt well to civilized habitats, they still play hunting games with each other and their masters when off duty. Playful Crenshaws try to jump out and scare their masters as often as possible. Masters attribute, attribute numerous gray hairs to this play. Due to their social natures, Crenshaws prefer to stay among their own kind even when domesticated. A solitary domesticated Crenshaw must be kept constantly socialized or it becomes jittery and its skin tightens, reducing the effectiveness of its scareability. It no longer gets the plus two bonus on bluff checks. DC Young slash Adult 20 slash 27 Young Price 500 gold pieces Training cost 500 gold pieces Manticore With their flight and spike vo volley ability Abilities, manticores are best employed as guards as wide open, no, in wide open spaces. Manticores quickly grow bored when left to guard a stationary object. They spend long, dull hours setting up elaborate blinds and ambushes or inventing ways to extort more payment or favors from their masters. Especially because of the latter habit, manators, manicores are better employed as bodyguards or hunters. When protecting a person, a manticore passes the time in subtly threatening conversations, trying to catch its charge in logic traps, or pointing out how a clever attacker could separate the two of them and kill the charge. This is a manticore's way of demonstrating that it is alert and aware of its surroundings. Few clients seem to appreciate the effort. DC Young slash Adult 24 slash 31 Young Price 4,000 gold pieces Training cost 3,500 gold pieces Mimic Mimics are near perfect property guards. They're intelligent, they speak common, and they are willing to sit still for years at a time as long as they are paid in treasure and food for their trouble. A mimic's main drawback is its potential of disloyalty. It can sometimes be bought off if an intruder offers better rewards. In addition, if intruders prove to be too, too strong, if intruders prove too strong, a mimic might bargain information for its life. Under no circumstances, though, will a mimic surrender treasure. Mimics reject attempts at formal training. They instinctively know how to guard items and places, and they have little desire to protect people. Would-be trainers must be must use diplomacy instead of handle animal to get a mimic to do something it does not want to do. Fortunately, mimics are unskilled diplomats. No young mimic has ever been found. It is unknown how or if mimics reproduce. DC young adult nothing opposed nothing slash opposed diplomacy check and then young price unknown training cost unknown just empty a job a favorite entrance for thieves into 
an otherwise well-guarded fortification is through the garbage chute or sewers. It happens so often, one would think all the rich and powerful would take this into account. Those who keep guard, Akyogs do. Those who keep guard, Akyogs do. Even untrained Akyogs sometimes even untrained Akyogs sometimes enter symbiotic relationships with other beings, not attacking if fed regularly and left alone in their refuse. Trained Akyogs are smart enough not only to refrain from attacking their benefactors, but also to accept complex instructions about whom to attack, when and how. They can listen to passwords or musical phrases, look for identifying insignias, or follow special verbal instructions, such as attack anyone except Baron Raku Fort and his routine or Stephen the Dung Boy, and don't attack anyone for an hour after sunrise. DC Young slash Adult 24 slash 31. Young price 2,000 gold pieces. Training costs 1,500 gold pieces. Owl bear. Owl bears are theoretically trainable. However, it is not necessary to train them to attack and not very productive to teach them anything else. Owl bears are best employed by leaving them in an enclosed area and tossing in raw meat occasionally. Further interaction is usually pointless. If raised from chicks, owl bears become very devout, devoted to their trainers. They never transfer this devotion to anyone else, though, though, and continue to display their famously surly attitude to anyone who isn't the trainer. The most useful trick to teach a guard owl bear is a version of alert. See the new trick sidebar whereby it makes a distinct noise when it fights something besides another owlbear. Owlbears can be taught other tricks, but they always perform but they always perform them sullen, su sullenly and violently. Any time an owlbear is commanded not to attack, its master must make a successful handle animal check DC 15 before it attacks anyway. DC young slash adult 23 slash 30 young price 3,000 gold pieces training cost 2,000 gold pieces new tricks the following tricks are in addition to those described under animal companions in chapter 2 of the dungeon master's guide don't attack this is not a command but a standing order the creature never attacks one specific person or creature besides the master. This takes a separate trick for each individual who is not to be attacked. Special Ability If a creature has a special ability such as a breath weapon, it can be trained to use only that ability until commanded to stop. If the ability is not usable every round, then the creature retreats to safety or repositions, repositions itself during the round when it cannot use the ability. Alert. The creature makes some distinctive noise when it detects or attacks intruders. Disable. The creature fights until it senses that its target has been incapacitated, then it backs off. This does not guarantee that the creature won't kill a target, only that it ceases attacking if the target falls down and stops resisting. Disarm If a creature is capable of making disarm attacks, it attempts to do so until commanded to stop. Subdue if possible, the creature deals subdue damage instead of normal damage. Trip. If a creature is capable of making a trip attack, it attempts to do so until commanded to stop. 
This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor. Breaker. Overcast. Pocket Casts. Radio Public. Spotify. Support us on Patreon. And check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.